Today we got a video on what will happen in the next billion years. I'm looking forward to this one. You guys know I like my space stuff. Let's jump straight into it. Let's go, man. A video by Real Life Lore, made possible by Squarespace. Make your next move with Squarespace. Humanity has been around for about 200,000 years and has experienced a massive amount of change already. From for our sure. starting point in Africa, we've managed to colonize the entire world at this point and even reached as far away as the moon. Not bad. The land we need more, though. connected Asia and North America with one another has long since been submerged. We've colonized, uh, well, we haven't colonized, but we've been to the moon, right? We need to colonize Mars. And then from there, we just need to keep going, 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 going until the whole galaxy is ours. And then keep going, 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 going until we meet aliens. And it's all needs to happen in 30 years. <laughs> Beneath the ocean. So if humanity exists for another billion years, then right. what additional changes or events can we reasonably expect to happen? Ah, uh, it would well, be crazy. starting at about 10,000 years into the future, we will encounter the year 10,000 problem. Software that encodes the age All right, yeah, I know about this. as a four-digit decimal will no longer be able to encode dates starting at 10,000 AD. It will be a real Y10K, and in addition, if current trends of global... Oh, wait, no, it's not this I know. There's something about, like, the binary code of uh, for, like, uh, the internet or something. Like, it'll run out... Oh, I can't remember now. I learned it at uni, but... <laughs> I'm the worst memory of all the time. It goes in, it goes back out. It's so bad. Civilization continues, then human genetic variation will no longer be regionalized by this point. Meaning that all human genetic traits like skin color and hair color will be evenly distributed across the world. Oh, in for sure. Like, I've always thought about this, right? Like, ra racism will eventually like unfortunately we have it in the world still right but racism will eventually be absolutely nothing because you know because like everyone's mixing and everyone will, will be mixing everyone's going to be mixed race within uh at, at some point in the future you know what i mean because like wait, wait, when you when you think about it like in england like yeah there's a lot there's a lot of english people with english people but there's also a lot of people with like, for example, my mom's English, my dad's Jamaican, right? And then down the line is I'm a little bit Jamaican. My sister's a little bit Jamaican. And we're going to uh, mix with whatever we're going to mix with. And eventually they're going to mix with whatever they're going to mix with. And it's so on, so on, so on, so on, so on to the point where everyone, w it, it will get to a point where everyone will be mixed race. It, it will get to that point. It'll be crazy. That's that's actually um it's it's mad to think about. They might be like what they, they might be like tribal communities um on islands where they haven't mixed with anyone, but you know most of the world will be uh, mixed, and that that's so mad to think about. Twenty thousand years from now, future languages will only contain one out of every one hundred core vocabulary words of their present day counterparts. Essentially, no modern language will be recognizable by this point. What? In 50,000 years, Earth will enter into another glacial well, it is period regardless of current global warming effects. Niagara Falls will have completely eroded away no into way. Lake and ceased to exist. And due wow. to glacial rebound and erosion, the many lakes of the Canadian Shield will also cease to exist. Also, one full day on Earth will have increased by one full second, requiring what? a leap second to be added to every day. Oh my In god! <laughs> yeah. years from now, Not the stars a second. And constellations visible from Earth will be completely different than they are from today. Aye. Also, cool. this is the estimated amount of time that it would take to fully terraform Mars into a habitable planet similar to the Earth. Shit, what the fuck? Years, the Loihi volcano will rise above the surface and form a new island in the Hawaiian island chain. In 500,000 right. years from now, Earth will have likely been struck by an asteroid measuring one kilometer in diameter unless humanity artificially prevents it. Additionally, the battle shield around the world Dakota will have completely eroded away by this point. In 950,000 years, the meteor crater in Arizona, wow. which is considered the best preserved meteorite impact crater on Earth, will have completely eroded away. Wow. In one million years, Wait, I didn't crater on Earth will I didn't even know that is this. Is that what it looks like? Because I'm here hit Earth? Have completely That's crazy. Away. 
In one million years, Earth will have likely experienced a supervolcanic eruption large enough to yep. erupt 3,200 cubic kilometers of ash, wow. an event similar to the Toba super eruption 70,000 years ago that almost made humanity extinct. Wow. In addition, the star Betelgeuse will have exploded into a supernova by this point, and the explosion will be easily visible from Earth even during the daytime. Wow. In two million years, the Grand Canyon will have eroded even more significantly, slightly deepening like i want to see something happen like with my own eyes in space like imagine seeing that star like form into a supernova oh my god it would be so like it would just be stunning like imagine you're just laying down in the back garden right you got a glass of light i don't know what you want to drink let, let, let's say, like it's an event that's gonna happen i've got champagne right i've got champagne i'm laying down on the sofa bed outside in the back garden and you just see the massive explosion in space. Oh, that would be insane. But instead, uh, we just get to look at stars, which is uh, still pretty cool. But um, well, mostly I wish we could see like planets and stuff. Valley. If humanity has colonized different planets in the solar system and the universe by this point, and the populations on each planet have remained separate that from will happen. Other, then humanity will have likely evolved into various different species at this point. Bro, <laughs> what, yo? That would be bad. That will be fucking mad, dude. Oh, my. You know what? I wish I could just, like, um, what, oh, what is it called? Uh, where you go in the ice and you do, um, and then you, you can, uh, come back out in the future. Cry, cry attack or something like that. I forgot what it's called. I forgot what it's called. But you go, you go in the ice and you preserve yourself. Um, it slows down yourselves and you can, uh, you, you basically stop aging pretty much, right? I wish I I might go in there for two million years and just come out and then and then other humans on other planets are pretty much aliens. That that would be so fucking cool, man. Species will be adapted to their be so cool. planets and may not be aware of the other human species located in the rest of the universe. In ten million years, a large part of East Africa will split know? off from the rest of the continent. A new ocean basin will form between the two sides, and Africa will be divided into two separate land masses. Oh my God. In fifty million years, Phobos a moon of Mars will collide with the planet, causing massive destruction there. Back wow! Earth, hey, listen, everyone that's colonized Mars, hey, hey, you got, you guys gotta protect yourself from that. The remaining part of Africa will collide with Eurasia and close off the Mediterranean Sea forever. Oh a shit! New mountain range similar in size to the Himalayas will form between the now connected land masses and may possibly produce a mountain that is higher than Mount Everest. Holy in fuck! In 60 million years, the Canadian Rockies will have completely eroded into a flat plain. In 80 million years from now, all of the Hawaiian Islands will have sunk back beneath the ocean. And in 100 million years, the Earth will have likely been struck by an asteroid similar to the event that wiped out the dinosaurs 66 million years I, ago. We'll, we'll, we'll get some shield. It isn't artificially shield protecting the Earth. In addition, at this point in the future, the rings around the planet Saturn will no longer exist. Wow. In 240 Crazy. million years, Earth will have finally completed one full orbit around the galactic Jeez. center from its current position. <laughs> In 250 million years, all of the continents on Earth will have fused together to form a supercontinent what similar the fuck? to Pangaea. A possible name for this continent is Pangaea Ultima, and it will probably look something sort of like what this the image. fuck? Then in 400 to 500 million years, the supercontinent will break apart once again. In 500 to 600 million years, a deadly gamma ray burst will likely occur within six and a half thousand light years of Earth. If conditions are right or wrong, if you prefer, the burst could strike Earth and severely damage the ozone layer, which would what cause a mass extinction event. In 600 million years, the moon will have moved far enough away from Earth that total solar eclipses will no longer be possible after this date. In addition, the sun's increasing luminosity will cause severe effects on Earth. Plate tectonic movements will stop at this point, and carbon dioxide levels in the atmosphere will decrease dramatically. C3 photosynthesis will no longer be possible at this point, and 99% of current planet wow. on Earth will die. In 800 million years, carbon dioxide levels will have continued to fall to the point where C4 photosynthesis will no longer be possible. Free oxygen and ozone disappear from the atmosphere, and all complex life on Earth will die. 
Finally, in one what billion the years, the sun's luminosity will have increased 10% from its current state. The surface temperature on Earth will rise to a sweltering 47 degrees Celsius. Bro, imagine. The atmosphere will turn into a moist greenhouse and the world's oceans will evaporate away. What Pockets the fuck? Liquid water may still exist at the Listen, isn't it mad how, like, everything is so perfect for Earth and the slightest change would just wipe us out. Do you know what I mean? Like the slightest change with the uh, with the sun, uh, with um, the Earth's or, or you know anything to do with space, right? It's so perfect for us to live, and the slightest change would just completely wipe us out. Earth's poles, however, which means that they will probably become the last bastion of life on our planet. Wow. A lot will change over the course of a billion years, but a lot has changed in the last billion years as well. In addition to the things that we've talked about in this video, who knows what else a billion years could bring. This video was made possible- We would have to literally make like an absolute Earth dome of like oxygen bubble or so i i don't know i don't know in a billion years the human race they will know how to survive i believe in it i believe we'll colonize all the planets in the galaxy in a billion years i'll come out of my cryotech and i will see all this for myself that is the dream that was an amazing video though i really enjoy videos about space and stuff hopefully you guys enjoy it as well if you guys are enjoying the content make sure you do leave a thumbs up make sure you do subscribe we're gaining super close to youtube partners so every single person that does subscribe is helping the channel massively and i'll see you guys in the next video